Scott with Scott's Journeys here, and today Rose and I, oh, and this is my beautiful fiance Rose, bride to be. So today we're talking about what if you didn't want to get the fiance visa and you'd rather marry in the Philippines. So what what's what do you got to do to get through that process? Well, today we're going to go right right through that with you, just a little bit of each step by step things that you have to do if you're a U.S. citizen to marry in the Philippines. And check out this view. We're at the Saint Pedro or Saint Saint Saint, <laughs> Saint, Saint Pedro Catholic Church in Davao. So what a what a good place to talk about getting married, right in front of the church. So <laughs> so let's break it down. If you are a U.S. citizen and you want to marry in the Philippines, and there's a lot of reasons why you'd want to do this. Um, for me, for example, we thought about getting the, we actually started the K-1 process or the fiance visa process, but it's important to Rose that we marry here so her family, family is very important to a lot of Filipinos. So being that it was so important that her family gets to see her get married, I wanted to be able to provide that I think it's you know they she has such a wonderful family I'm Adam and I think it was just that's the right thing to do so we want to marry here in the Philippines so the first thing you have to do if you're a US citizen is you have to visit either the US consulate in Cebu or the US Embassy in Manila and you need to get an in lieu of permission to marry in the Philippines it's a document it's gonna cost you $50 US if you've been married before, you need to bring your divorce degrees that shows that you have the capacity and the legal capacity to marry, that you're not already married in the United States. And that document, once you obtain it, you will take that with you when you go file for your marriage license. Which brings us to filing for the marriage license. What do you have to have to file for a marriage license? We're in Davao, so, and I bet you most cities are the, probably the same. So in Davao, each person has to have a copy of a Cinemar. So what, exa what exactly is the Cinemar? It's a... It's basically a document saying who you are. Yes. Oh, yeah, it's basically a document that you can go online and apply for. That's what I did. I went online, I filled out both rows and eyes on separate ones, paid for them, and, and they were, yeah, it's the Certificate of No Marriage, that's what it is. And then they were actually mailed to her while I was still in the States. So you can you can knock that out before you even come. And I think that was real cheap. What did that cost like? Yeah, 210 pesos is what that cost. And then Hello. How are you? I'm making it. Yeah. Hold on one second. Have a good day. Huh? <laughs> so if you're in the Philippines long enough, something like that's bound to happen. You could usually just say no. That's what Rose really wants me to do, but sometimes I don't. Um, so anyway. Anyway, back to it. We were talking about what you have to have to marry in the Philippines. So you're got, you've got your in lieu of permission to marry in the Philippines document from the U.S. Embassy or the um, U.S. Consulate in Cebu. So you've attained that. You went online before you got here and you filed for your cinemars for both, both of you. Both people need the cinemar. I didn't think that, but when I read into it, you definitely do. So you file for that um, and they will mail it somewhere here. <laughs> so. I had it mailed to Morose's, she received both of ours. And then, <clears throat> after you get that, we have all those documents, then we need to go file for a marriage license. And that is done right across the street from this beautiful Catholic church. There is a place, and I will turn the camera around. Hold on. Okay, so you take those documents to this building right here. And 
that is where you file for your marriage license. And Rose will have to tell you the name of that. What is the name of that building? It's the Sangguniang Panglungso Davao. That's where you file for your marriage license. Now, so you've done all that, you file for your marriage license. Now, marriage license generally takes about 15 days to get approved and everything. So you'll, yeah, 10 to 15 days. So you're, what you'll have to do after that is have that delivered, right? It will be delivered to your house. Yeah, or once it's ready, maybe maybe Rose will have to come pick it up or I'll have to come pick it up. But that doesn't, it isn't an immediate document. You have to wait 10 to 15 days for that. And that cost roughly, we're not for sure because we're getting ready to go in there and do it, um, but we were thinking it's roughly 500 pesos, but I can correct, make a correction if I'm wrong on that. So those are some of the steps you have to do when you decide that you want to marry in the Philippines. After that, it's all downhill. You just have to plan out the wedding, get the family together, have a big party. Oh yeah, you have to have a big party, right? I can't wait. <laughs> I can't so wait either. We are both so excited. Yay. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm Scott with Scott's Journeys, and I am out. Bye. <laughs>